Hi everyone, Tim from Booth Events here. In this video, we're going to cover setting printing up in the app. So we're going to assume you already have your printer and your iPad and the internet all connected how you want it. If you haven't done that yet, check out our other videos for that. In this video, we're covering some updates that we made to printing in our latest update on the App Store. So if you're coming from an older version of Booth Events, we're going to show you where the differences are. And there are four parts to this video. The first thing we're going to go through is just a quick explanation of what we're covering and why, what problem we're solving, why we've made these changes. The second thing we're going to go show is how to add a printer. The third thing we're going to show is how to choose which template prints to which printer. And you'll have understood why we're doing that by the time we get there. And the last thing we're going to show is what it looks like when the app does a cold start. So when the app starts from not running at all, and that's going to be helpful if you have attendants in the field who are going to be setting up printing and you need to show them this video so they understand how to make it work. Well, let's say you have one of these printers here, the DNP QW410, and like a lot of printers, it can cut the paper after it prints. Now, if you're familiar with Booth Events, you already have had for a while the ability to have different templates available for your guests, so your guests can just choose one. And we're going to see that in the video. When, when they choose one, they might choose one that shouldn't be printed because it's like a weird size and you don't want that printed. Or they choose a different one and you want that one to be printed 4 by 6 and they choose a different one, you want that one to be printed in strips. And until now, we haven't had the ability to do that. And this update releases that. So what you can do is you can print, say, a template that's a 4 by 6 and then you can print another one that's cut in two all on the same printer in the same event. And you can see I'm wearing a sweater in that photo because the heating in our office is not working at the moment. Fabulous. Okay, great. So let's do a quick demo. I've got this event here. Now, if you remember, there used to be a way of just adding a printer right here or more specifically on that last screen, there was a way to add a printer. And now things are a little different. So what we do have is we do have this option on the last screen to just turn on printing like that, okay? That's like the master switch. Do you want your guests to be able to see the print button? Yes? Okay, then make sure that's turned on. Okay, and let's scroll down to the bottom here. Now, at, what we used to be able to do is we used to be able to add a printer right here in the app, and you'll see that's not there anymore. All of the settings are still there, except the insets. They've moved, and we'll show you those in a moment. All of the settings are still there, but adding the printer now comes later. It comes after you launch the event. So these settings that you can see, they're going to take effect only if you add a printer. If you don't add a printer and you just use the iOS pop-up that comes every time, these settings don't take any effect. Okay, so let's go and launch the event. We'll hit start. And you can see right away I've got that big button, add a printer. And right now you can see above that button it says the iOS AirPrint pop-up will show. And that's because printing is turned on, but there's no printer added. And below that you can see I've got those two templates set up. I've got the one on the right, which is the 4x6. And I've got that other one, which actually I want, in my printer, I want it to print twice side by side, and the printer's going to cut it. Okay, so how can we set that up? Well, let's hit that Add a Printer button first. And I get a list of all the printers that are in there. So I'm going to start with a 4x6 one because that's the easy one. I'm going to scroll until I find it. 4x6. There it is. Okay. Now when I add it, I can see that it says that it's going to print the 4x3 and the Booth Events 4x6 template. So both of those templates are going to print to that printer. Okay, but that's not what I want. I don't want that 4x3 one printing there. I want only the 4x6 one to print there. So I'm going to tap that there. OK, now I can see that there's two templates selected here. I can see my insets are at the top. That's where they move to. I'm not going to touch the insets right now. And I can see my templates right here. Now, I don't want that first one to print to this printer. So I'm just going to tap that row and kind of uncheck it, unselect it. OK, this is what I want. So I'm going to close this view here. So now what I've got, I've got that one printer set up and just that one template can print to it. 
if I was right now, if I launched the event like this and I tried, I took that other template, I took a picture with that other template, there would be no printer button, no way to print that one. But I do want to print it, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to add another printer. And I'm going to go down and I'm going to choose the 4x3 times 2. What that means is a 4x3 twice. So cut down the side, in the middle, and that's what I want. So I'll choose that printer. Okay, great. I see it at the top there. And by default, it's printing both of those templates. And that's not right. That's not what I want. So I'm going to tap that top row there to open the printer. And I'm going to turn off that 4x6 template there. Okay, now, when you first add a template, it could be that it looks like this. You've just got the single one showing there. And in this case, I do want it to be doubled I, I'm, because my printer is going to cut it on the short side, right? So I'm going to just flip that switch on, and you can see that's what causes it to, to double. So if that's how your printer should work, if that's how you've configured your printer, turn that switch on to double it. Okay, we're looking good. We've got two templates. They're both set up to print one to each of these logical printers. I actually only have the one printer attached, but my print server is showing them as two different printers for the paper queues, and that's great. I find that really easy to work with. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a demo photo. So if I hit photo, and you can see there's our live template preview where your guests can choose either one. Uh, let's go ahead and choose the first one. So I'm going to take a picture of me. And then I'm going to print that out. And you'll notice in this one, the multiples of prints are of two. And that's because each print is printed doubled. And so it's telling your guests, hey, you know, like if you do a print here, you're going to get two copies for each one. All right, there we go. There's my super awesome print cut in the middle, like we said, and doubled. Okay, great. So that's how you set up and get a printer running. There's also another change I want to make you aware of, which is something we did intentionally. If you were to kill the app for some reason and restart it, you're going to see that those two printers are remembered. The app remembers that you had them, but it doesn't try to automatically connect them. And there's a reason for that. We're discovering that iOS has quite some issues when it tries to automatically reconnect to printers. And so we're helping you by showing you what you have to do, but we're leaving that step to you. And that's because when we do it this way, when we touch that printer, we get that same list, you pick the same printer. There's a couple good things here. One is that that makes you reconfirm that you actually have that printer connected on your network. We, that way, that pop-up will own, that's from the operating system, that will only show if your printer is genuinely on the network. So that's a good way of knowing you've got it configured correctly. So I'll touch the other one and get that connected as well. I've got to find the 4x6. There it is. Okay, and if, if you get this situation where it finds a new printer because it's got a new address, that's fine. Just hit that trash button on the old one. And I'll just quickly toggle my templates the way I want them. And there we go. So just that's that's a quick way of showing you what your your attendant might experience if they're setting up a booth with printing for the first time um, you can warn them that when they start up the app if it's not already running then they'll need to reconnect the printers just like I showed you there if the app is still running then you won't have to do that but keep in mind if your iPad is off for a long time the operating system can sometimes kill the apps that are that are running because it wants to say power or it's doing an update and you can have that experience where you have to just quickly re-add the same printers. Okay, that's it for this video. We hope this makes your workflow easier and enables more cool printing setups at your events and we're excited to see what those are. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can find out when our next videos come out.